For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now let's do this problem which has cable AD is tightened by the turnbuckle and develops a tension of 1300 pounds. Find the tension developed in AB, AC and the force developed on the antenna AE at point A. So basically we have this tension right here of 1300 pounds. We also have a tension right here. We have a tension going into this back cable right there. And then we have a force developed in the antenna going up towards A. So those are our, our four forces and we already got one. So basically what you're going to do is you want to find the univector for all of this, all of these forces and then the problem becomes much much easier to solve. So to find the univectors we need to find all the points involved. Let's go A, B, C, D and E. So let's find all the points involved. A is at 0 in the I plus 0 in the J plus 30 in the K. B sits at 10 in the I minus 15 in the J plus 0 in the K. C sits at negative 15 in the I minus 10 in the J plus 0 in the K. D sits at 0 in the I plus 12.5 in the J plus 0 in the K. And E sits at the origin which is 0, 0, 0. So let's find some univectors. The easiest univector to find is univector um, EA because univector EA just goes straight up, which means that it's 0 in the I plus 0 in the J plus 1 in the K. That's the first univector we found it already. We only got three to go. So let's find AB, AC, and AD. Let's start with AB. To find univector AB, you need to find AB first, which is B minus A, which is equal to 10 in the I minus 15 in the J minus 30 in the K. You find the magnitude of this vector, by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square and you get that the magnitude is 35. Then to find the univector AB you divide the vector AB the three values by the magnitude which is 35. So these three values divided by 35 gives you the univector which comes out to be 0.285 in the i minus 0.429 in the j minus 0.857 in the K. This is a minus. So we got two univectors out of the four that we need. Next one says C. I'm going to move quicker because I already explained you how to find AB so everything else is just repetitive. So moving a little bit quicker. AC is equal to minus 15 in the I plus 0 in the J minus 30 in the K. Magnitude of AC is the same, still at 35. Univector AC is equal to minus 0.429 in the I, minus 0.285 in the J, minus 0.857 in the K. Three univectors out of the four we need. And the last univector will be AD which is equal to 0 in the i plus 12.5 in the j minus 30 in the k. Magnitude is equal to 32.5. Univector AD is equal to 0 in the i plus 0.385 in the j minus 0.923 in the k. This is a minus. So we have all our univectors. Now let me turn the page and move into the next step. Now that we have all our univectors, we can find the Cartesian vector form of our forces. Because we know that F, the force developed um, let's call it tension actually because it's a chain. So 
the tension developed at KB is equal to the magnitude of this tension, which we don't know, times the uni vector aiming at AB. And we found the uni vector at AB, which means that multiplying it by the tension, you get this uni vector 0.285, let's call it AB, in the I minus 0.429 AB in the J minus 0.857 AB in the K. Now, same thing goes for AC. Tension AC times univector AC. So AC comes out to be minus 0.429 AC in the I minus 0.285 AC in the J minus 0.857 AC C in the K. And we all, we have um, tension AB, AB, which is equal to the magnitude DAD times UAD. So the t uh, this univector comes out to be zero in the I plus 0.385 AD in the J minus 0.923 AD in the K. And then we have AE. So let's call it force AE, which is the one developed at the antenna, which is given by the magnitude of this force times a vector going from A, a unit vector going from A to E which is 0 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 1 times ae in the k which is ae in the k. Now that we have all the forces, we can find our formulas. All you got to do is add them together and you know that they're all going to equal to 0 in statics because you know that the sum of the forces is equal to 0. So let's get our formulas. Let's add all the i's together. You know that 0.285 AB minus 0.429 AC is equal to 0. First formula. Now we're going to add all the j's together. Minus 0.429 AB minus 0.285 AC plus 0.385 AD is equal to 0. Equation 2. Last equation. Minus 0.857 AB minus 0.857 AC minus 0.923 AD plus AE is equal to 0. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four variables and three equations. Which one are we missing? Remember that we're given the tension of one of the cables, which is AD. You know that AD is equal to 1300 pounds. It's given right here. 1300 pounds is the tension that AD develops. So you plug that into two and three, and you get your formulas. So let me over here. So minus 0.429 AB minus 0.285 AC plus 500 is equal to 0. Now we got that by applying AD into equation number 2. And by plugging 1300 into equation number 3 for AD you get minus 0.857 AB minus 0.857 AC minus 1200 plus AE is equal to 0. So now I'm going to get equation 1. Point two eighty five AB minus 
0.429 AC is equal to zero. That was equation number one. And I'm gonna multiply by the following fraction. 0.429 over 0.285, close. So you multiply these numbers by this and you get negative 0.429 AB minus 0.825 AC is equal to negative, actually, sorry, I missed that. 0.429 positive 0.429 AB minus 0.646 AC is equal to zero. That's multiplying equation by by this fraction. And then I'm gonna rewrite this fraction right down here, minus 0.429 AB, I mean this equation, not this fraction, minus 0.285 AC is equal to negative 500. I just pass this 500 to the other side of the equation and then you can just add them together. These two cancel out and you get minus 0.931 AC is equal to negative 500, which means that AC is equal to 537 pounds by plugging AC into this equation. You can solve for AB and you get that it is equal to 808 pounds and by plugging these two values into this equation you can solve for AE and you get that AE is equal to 2353 is the force developed at the antenna. So find the answer for the tensions that were missing and the force developed at the antenna because AD we already have. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.